Welcome to this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm Mark Allen. Today we have the privilege of sitting down with Reggie Hines, an alumnus of Johnson County Community College and former basketball standout. He is now the Director of Basketball Operation and Special Program Sales here at the College Basketball Experience in Kansas City. Reggie, welcome. Thanks Thank for you. sitting down with us today. Now, you grew up in Kansas City, went to Bishop Hogan High School. Mm -hmm. How did you, what influenced you to go to Johnson County Community College and play basketball? Well, it, it just goes um, a long way back. Uh, when I uh, went through high school, Bishop Hogan, uh, I really didn't plan on going to college. And um, I, uh, when I finished, I got a job and, and I was in the workforce. And uh, um, I continued to play basketball though because it's something I love to do. And fortunately for me, it was at Johnson County Community College in the summer as I played. Uh, well, I kind of hit a fork in the road and uh, I needed to go to college. I realized that after two years of working and uh, Coach Lafayette Norwood saw me playing in the gym and uh, basically approached me about being a uh, scholar athlete at Johnson County. Nice, that's fantastic. Now, from your time playing at, at Johnson County, you had a, a pretty good record your sophomore year, took the team to 24 and nine. Um, that led you to playing for Central Missouri University, is that correct? Yeah, and, you know, again, um, it, it all starts at JCCC, you know, just not the, um, from the athletic side of it, but even the academic and really maturing as a man. And so, yeah, that did give me the opportunity to continue my career as a basketball player and a student athlete, and uh, Central Missouri State was my next stop. Now, how did, how did it differ playing at Central Missouri State compared to Johnson County? I mean, obviously, it's a different level. How, how, did, how could you compare and contrast the two? Well, it, you know, basketball is basketball. I mean, no matter what level you're on, there's always going to be teams trying to, to be the best, trying to reach the national championship. Uh, so from a basketball standpoint, it was pretty similar. We had great basketball uh, players on our teams. Um, you know, I wasn't, I, don't, I wouldn't call myself a superstar by any means, but it helped me to understand uh, what it meant to be a teammate at both places. So, you know, on campus, off campus, pretty much all the same for okay. me. Okay. Now, did basketball continue to be a big part of your life after you graduated from Central Missouri State? It did. Um, actually, uh, my passion was really dealing with uh, urban kids because, you know, I come from the inner city and uh, basketball gave me the opportunity to pursue a dream, a dream that I never really thought I had until I started living it. And so uh, what that told me is, you know, Thank God, first of all, for, uh, for recovering me and, and getting me to that place. But uh, the need to give back. You know, our society today, especially with our young people uh, downtown, is, 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 is dire to some degree. And we need uh, all kinds of people to step up and help out. And that's what I like to do. And basketball gave me that opportunity. Uh, you can always get a young person in the gym, always, because they want to play basketball. Uh, it's our responsibility to take that moment and try to teach something with that. That's fantastic. Now, what did you do after you graduated? Did you, what, what was your career after that? Before we, before you came here to the CBE? I, uh, one, I became a better basketball player, I think, after I graduated. <laughs> but uh, I, I started work with um, State Farm Insurance, uh, basically right out of college. And I was a, uh, an adjuster, claims adjuster, for about 16 years. And that allowed me to travel all over the country, um, helping people, was, again, which is what I like to do, help people. Uh, but I got a chance to see just different places and, and some of the traumatic events that's happened over the course of time here in the United States in terms of uh, natural disasters. Now, did you, did you ever have any dreams of going pro after your time at Central Missouri? Maybe. <laughs> um, I, don't, I, I don't think that that uh, I thought of it like that. I just wanted to continue to play basketball at my highest level. And uh, if I had it to do over again, I probably would dream that big, uh, which is the message. That's the message that I tell you know, young people all the time. Dream about what you want, you know, and then do what you can to get there. I didn't dream about that, it would have been cool. I really had the chance to go do it, but it would have been overseas. And the timing wasn't really right for me to do it at the time, so I never did. Well, sure. Now, the CBE, the College Basketball Experience, and the Sprint Center, have had a big couple of weeks with the Big 12 tournament in town and also the uh, second and third rounds of the NCAA tournament. Uh, what kind of events went on here and, and how many people came through the doors during that time with, with an influx of people from all over the country? Unprecedented. I mean, you know, we have busy times in March every year, you know, with the Big 12 being here and also with spring break. We had thousands upon thousands of people 
visiting the CVE, not only guests from out of town, but locals. You know, again, it's spring break. It's a great family outing. Uh, even if it's just brother, sister, uh, bring your buddy, go hang out. Uh, we have college age kids who come in here together, uh, adults who come in and just uh, spend, a, spend a day here having a good time. So it's, it, was, it, was, it was pretty wild. That's great. Now, during the, I mean, obviously we've got, we had 10 teams with the Big 12 tournament that, that have come to Kansas City before. Some maybe freshmen haven't seen this before, but we had some teams from all over the country here for the NCAA tournament, North Carolina, uh, LaSalle, you know, places like that. Did the, those teams get to come through and, and do the coaches come over and, and take a look around? I mean, when Roy Williams is here, does he come over and, and say hi and, and see what's going on here that maybe knew that he, wasn't, he didn't see the last time he was here? Sure, typically uh, when those teams, especially the teams who haven't been here before, this is usually one of their destinations. When they get here, they pencil it into their schedule and they make sure they bring the boys through uh, to see the play, or the young man, excuse me, <laughs> uh, to, to visit the CVE and have a good time. And, and they seem to do well with that. That's great. Um, so are there any other events uh, involved with the tournament that go on here? Because I know that I've, I've, there's fundraiser dinners that go on here and things like that. Does anything like that go on? Or because the tournaments are here, that it's just basketball focused and go from there? Well, we like to be able to reach out and, and, and help anyone who's looking to, to do anything here at the CVE. Uh, primarily, yes, we're open to the public for uh, just general amusement, but we also offer uh, local businesses or companies or, or groups to come in and rent a space uh, for whatever type of event they like to do. We did host a watch party. We do those a lot. Um, so that is available uh, for companies or businesses that want to come down. That's terrific. Now, if someone were to bring their family from out of town, somebody came down from Omaha and they wanted to come to the college basketball experience, what can they expect to see? What, what kind of things can they do? What can they expect to see while they're here? Well, it, it's all in the name. I mean, they expect to come in and experience what it's like to be a college basketball player, what college basketball is all about. From the time you get on the elevator to the, it's a pregame talk on the way up, uh, to the, uh, the hallway heading to our center court, which mimics a major arena corridor going to the, to the main court, uh, to slam dunking, to shooting a three-point shot, to playing one-on-one, -on -one, to uh, we even got a kid, a small kids court, and uh, that's a, that's a pretty popular location too. So, whatever basketball is about, that's what the CV is about. That's fantastic. Now, your uh, role is uh, director of basketball operations and uh, special program sales. What does that entail? What do you what do you do on a daily basis or weekly, monthly? What does that all entail? Basketball operations hat. Uh, what we like to do is we like to communicate and connect with. Um, local basketball groups uh, for basketball tournaments or special events for their teams. Uh, this could be a high school team. Uh, this could be UMKC. Uh, they've done a couple of their Midnight Madness games here at CBE, which was really cool, uh, to basketball tournament championship games, to slam dunk contests, to uh, just all kinds of things. And my special program sales hat, what we like to do is reach out to businesses, organizations, and they uh, are able to come down to the CBE and host private events, whether it's a dinner, whether it's a, a, a basketball tournament that they want to do amongst themselves, whether it's team building. Um, we can ju do just about anything here at CBE. That's terrific. I appreciate your time today sitting down with us. Um, it sounds like Johnson County was a great influence and got you started on the right track um, to end up here in this wonderful wonderful establishment and, and I, can, I wish you continued success. Thank, Thank you so you. much for, for sitting down with us. Sure. That's it for this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm Mark Allen. Thank you all for joining us. Please tune in to our YouTube channel, JCCC Athletics, for this and other episodes to come. Bridget, thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate it.